Hi, it is Maura from YourChiefSimplicityOfficer.com, and today I have a fabulous new app called Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O, that I want to share with you. Uh, I have been using it to share action items with clients. I use it with my husband to stay on top of what each of us should uh, be doing and I use it in my business as well uh, for my personal use just to keep track of to-do items and I love it and I think you will too for one thing it's free so that's always a positive for another it is very intuitive and easy to use I've used other types of apps like Basecamp and while they work and they're good to share information, I find that they're a little more complicated than they need to be. And third, this is just really simple, and there is a reason I call my business YourChiefSimplicityOfficer.com, and that is that I really think that uh, the, the best solutions are often the simplest solutions. So, let me show you a little bit about Trello and then hopefully you'll want to try it out and see how it might work for you. Trello is organized with boards and here you've got a board that I've put together for different vacation things that my family wants to do. I've got a board of to-do items, I've got a board for a specific trip that we want to do and it's very easy to add a card it's just like a like a three by five card in a sense that you might put you know post on a wall just click down where it says add a card you type in there let's do a hotel and I would then click add it's very important to click the add if you don't do that it doesn't save but once you've added it if you click on it, it takes you to the back, and here's where you get a lot of the functions. It allows you to add members. So a card can be completely private, only you can see it, or you can add any number of people that can see and share it and have a ability to note what they've done as well. So this makes it great to use with uh, virtual assistants, with team members, or with family members. Or in my case, as I said, I'll use it with with some of my clients because we can put the action items that we've talked about on a um, card and then we both have access and we can see when activity occurs on it. You can create little checklists you can add due dates, you can um, add attachments, which I really like because it will allow you to add links, and then those go on the card as well. So all of these things are what makes Trello so useful. And just to give you a really quick idea of how you would start, you would click on the plus button on the right, you'd want a new board you just give it a title so I'm gonna call it test create it and they and the boards default to being private so this is the one of the nice things about it even if you share a card or you share an entire board with someone they can't see anything else but what you have shared with them and when you create a new board, you'll see that it pre-populates with a to-do, a doing, and a done. And you can just start by adding anything you want here. And then remember to hit, hit the add. You can move these cards around to wherever they need to go, which is very useful. You can add a list at any point. And if you really don't like the, the names of to do, doing, and done, that's not a big issue. You can change that to whatever you want to change it to. And you're ready to go. 
So I highly recommend Trello. If you are having problems figuring out ways to keep track of what it is you need to do, this could be a great tool for you. This is Maura Raffensperger from YourChiefSimplicityOfficer.com.